Hey, dude, what did you do with your head? I had a little action in the washer. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our vlog today. I've got <laughs> Miss Addison at home. Look at her over there. Hello. How are you? <laughs> and this is why she wears leggings. I went and fueled up the car after dropping Tegan and Caden off, and we are paying a dollar eleven nine at Costco. All of the oil and gas stuff that's going on, even though we are a major oil and gas province has caused our prices to go up insanely. I haven't fueled up in a while, so I was quite shocked when I saw that. Last time I fueled up, I don't know, a couple weeks ago for sure, maybe probably longer to tell you the truth, it was at about a dollar nine. So that's per liter because we're Canadian, so times that by four to get your US prices, you guys, and then we have exchange in there too. So. That's my big bombshell of the day. Gas is expensive, and I'm so glad that we've got our car running again because it's so much cheaper on gas. I have to make a Costco run today. We are almost out of milk. We are out of eggs. We are out of a few staples. We have a bunch of vegetables to pick up. I don't think it'll be a huge haul, but I always say that, and it's not true. So be sure to stay tuned because there will be a Costco haul vlog coming out tomorrow after you watch this one. Otherwise, this vlog today is going to be us hanging out getting kids from school a little later on. Maybe Addie and I should make some cookies or something. What do you think, Addison? Would you want to make cookies today? Mm, yeah. I want to go with you. You want to go to Costco with me? Of course you do. Well, looking like you do, you look like a breath of spring air. You're so gorgeous. Thanks. And you even have high heels on. I'm actually trying to get them on right. Addie's doing YouTube videos on making a bandana. Okay, you're gonna have to have a Kleenex. And a stapler. And a stapler. And some glue and scissors. And some colors. <laughs> she never ceases to amaze me with her creativity. I, you can still hear her. And my phone going off. I think she's going to be one of those YouTube girls. She's going to end up with a YouTube channel of her own doing crafts and cooking. Done working out. Caden keeps emailing me. It turns out that he left his phone at home and I had told him that I would text him to let him know whether or not he needed to walk home today. It was like minus 16 when we got up, but it's supposed to be, it said plus seven, but now it's bumping it down to plus six, which is typically what happens as the day goes on. They're going to keep moving that temperature down and down and down. But he sends me an email, mom, I left my phone at home. I left it in the white Christmas trees because I was playing with Addison. And sure enough, when I picked it up, it wasn't, it was out here before. Yes, this is still a mess, you guys. His cell phone fell out and I just had to laugh like only Caden. So I'm working out and Coco is sad because I don't even know what she wants, all the things, but she doesn't want to be out of my room. She wants to be with me. And Miss Addison has been playing away up here. Where are you playing? Okay, well, they, Jack and um, Snowball have this baby. Oh, it's so cute. I like that little bunny. That's one of the cutest ones, isn't it? Yeah, and you have your horses and your unicorns and everything. All the things out, you're playing so nicely. We are doing hair because my little helper wants to go to Costco with me. So we gotta get this hair up and out of the way. some fun and she's just snacking on a donut here and we're just gonna grab a little something else to eat before we head out the door 
We are out the door. Miss Addie is just getting herself all buckled up back there. Good job. And the truck is low on fuel. I fueled the car up this morning, so now I'm going to fuel the truck up before we actually go into Costco. It just feels good to have them both topped up, but this one's gonna be a pricey one because our truck has a huge gas tank and gas is really expensive right now. <laughs> And we're home. I bought Addie chicken and french fries at Costco. I'm so glad you came with me. Are you glad you came? Good. We're going to unload all this Costco stuff. I think Kieran should be home from school, so he should be able to come out and help us. Maybe Clancy will. This is the hard part about going to Costco. That's what I find. Going there is one thing, but getting it home and having to take care of everything, sorting it all out, freezer stuff, pantry stuff, all of that. That's the part that takes forever. Anybody with me? Comment down below or give us a thumbs up for this video if you feel like the hard work at Costco is actually bringing it home and taking care of it. It's really bright I hear The sun is shining in the uh, living room window, but as I was getting everything ready here for the boys to take downstairs for me, I had to smile because here's this big bag of flour. As I was moving it, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is so heavy. I was so glad that Kieran and Clancy helped move all of the stuff out of the truck, but it was making me think about last year, not like, not even quite a year ago, and we were so worried about whether or not we were even going to get flour when we went to Costco and how quickly we have slipped back into just assuming that it will be there, the things that we need. And it's really interesting just to pause and think about that for a minute, how far we've come in a year, how we actually, even though COVID is still here, we somehow feel more comfortable going out than we did then. And we're able to go out and get the things that we need. We don't have a shortage of any type here. And it just makes me feel really thankful. Pretty much all of our kids sleeping bags have come from Costco at one point in time or another. They usually sell them in two packs. Of course, we're dating back quite a few years because Riley and Bailey aren't little anymore, but the girls just have little kids sleeping bags. So we're going to check these out. Let's unbox these sleeping bags and see what they're like. Beautiful color. Addison's going to love the color. not sure about the fabric inside of them. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a huge fan in comparison to the other ones that we've had. It's a little... Oh, I like that. Do you like that? Yeah, I want to lay in it. Is that still folded in half? It's looking really narrow over here. <laughs> oh, it is. It's got some hooks down here at the end. Oh, we have other ones like this. There we go, here's another one. Apparently we're just gonna try this out right here on the dining room floor. How does it feel? We are headed off to get Tiggy from school. It is actually amazing how much this alley has cleared out in just a couple of days. We keep commenting about how the snow has melted so much faster this year than last year. Last year, we were out chopping ice in front of our house to try and get the water flowing because the ice was probably six or eight inches thick. And that was later in the year than now. So we're doing really well this year. We've got our Tiggy girl. We found a dead bird on the way over. And Addie wants to show her our dead bird find. What do you think? Kato is home. He's on to chores. The girls were supposed to be back by now. They are playing with the neighbor kids again. And I keep working on Tegan watching time and coming home. And today was another epic fail on that department. I am whipping up my butter. We are having pad siu for supper. So I've got my chicken thawing out and I am soaking my big wide rice noodles here. The only problem is that I thought I had a lot more. The store that Clancy and I went to this last weekend is the one that I should be buying these noodles at. 
and I didn't realize that we were out. So that's another staple food that I need to put on that list. So we are going to mix wide rice noodle with thin rice noodle, and I've totally picked up another bag here. Ah, Thin rice noodle, and we're going to see how it goes. I don't think that I'll stick them all in the same dish. I don't know, maybe it would give it good texture. chocolate craving time I came across this recipe just the other day this is some of the best tasting cookie dough I've ever had so I'm going to get Tiggy to try it and see what she thinks that's good isn't it it's soft mm. so they are called brownie cookies so I haven't baked them yet, so we don't know for sure what they're gonna turn out like. The dough is like more like a brownie batter, and so we'll have to see. I have to pop them in the fridge, which isn't gonna work because our fridge is so full because I went to Costco today. So I'm going to put them outside, and then we will cool them down for a half an hour, and then put them through the oven and see how they turn out. Did you just try some? Mm -hmm. It's very good. It is good, isn't it? Kieran asked for a handful. So what'd you get, bud? Finger covering. It's not even a. Look at it. I'll make it for you. Hey, dude, what'd you do with your head? I had a little action in the washroom. These cookies turned out absolutely amazing. I will link the recipe down below. They're basically like a brownie in cookie form. I do want to play with the recipe a bit more. I think they could have been refrigerated a little bit longer. I also think they would be great if you took them and you just put them in a pan and bake them as brownies. They are really, really, really good. What did you think of the cookies? They were very good, weren't they? I'm in Bailey's room trying to find the cat. So many places to hide in here. Anyway, since Bailey is up, I'm going to go and hang out with her. I'm really stoked, probably more excited than Clancy. For our 20th anniversary, which is almost three years ago, we decided that we would buy each other luggage because we love to travel. Now, I said this in a, like quite a few vlogs ago. At the beginning of the pandemic, I had bought a suitcase and we were supposed to be going to Vegas for a work trip for Clancy. And that was supposed to be my first time using my suitcase. Anyway, my suitcase has never been used, <laughs> and I am aching to use it just as many people are aching to travel, but Clancy bought his suitcase tonight, and I'm super stoked. Same brand by Monos. When it comes in, I will show it to you, not sponsored in any way. We got some good discounts because I have an account through them and whatnot, but we're really stoked. I'm so excited that he found a suitcase that he likes, and it's kind of fun that it's the same brand as mine. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Be sure to come back tomorrow to check out the Costco vlog of Addie and I going and getting a haul. I think it's so funny because later in the day, she said to me something about when we were doing the Costco haul, and I just think it's funny because now that we're doing YouTube, she actually thinks of going to Costco as a Costco haul instead of just going shopping, and it's the cutest thing ever.